All right guys, here we go. We're just gonna shoot the uh, quick technique video here explaining the chair deadlift. I've got the chair deadlift set up behind me. So uh, I'm just gonna show you from the front first and then from the side and coach you up on a couple of key technique points. Um, so without any further ado, I've got a bench set up. Now, when you set your bench up, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure, or whenever you set your seat up, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have uh, a bench that's or a seat that's about 16 inches or so um, off the ground that creates the ideal height potentially. But again, as a coach, as an athlete, you wanna watch the angle in your hips. So um, you wanna create an ideal pulling position based on the relationship between the length of our shin here and the length of the femur itself. So for some athletes, they're gonna be at a mechanical advantage uh, with a low position for their pull. Other athletes, they're gonna to wanna to have their butt up a little bit higher. So it's something that you're gonna to wanna to watch when we shift to the side and find out exactly what you feel is your strongest pulling position. That's what you wanna practice with your chair deadlift, okay? So I've got a bench set up here. <clears throat> and uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have a seat uh, on, on our bench. We're going to make sure that we've got the bar pulled into our shins here. We want to engage our lats. We want to take the slack out of the bar. We want to make sure that our heels are underneath us in a conventional stance here. Feet are inside of the shoulders. And right from here, we're going to pull up, pause, and stand up. Okay? So we actually, when we engage the lats, pull the bar up off the ground slightly. So I may change the camera so you can see from the bottom uh, what that position looks like. So again, starting from the ground. Here we go. We're going to Take the slack out of the bar, we're gonna pull, then stand, and then repeat that movement back down. Now, as I mentioned, you can vary your stance, so you can shift to a sumo stance. It's exactly the same concept in terms of <clears throat> initiating pull. What we're varying, again, is our foot position and our hand position. Now, whether you go with the conventional double hand over, or you go with a mixed grip, one hand over, one hand under, it's completely up to you. And really what the determining factor is gonna be is grip strength. So I say stay palms down for as heavy as you can go and work on developing that grip strength to hang on to the bar. When you feel like you're topping out and you can't hang on to the bar anymore and you're using chalk, um, switch to a mixed grip and see if you can get out a couple more reps and go heavier, okay? So with the sumo stance, we're going to set our stance nice and wide. We want to put our hands on the inside. Again, we're gonna create that ideal pulling position. We're gonna take the slack out of the bar, lift, and then stand. Boom, popping up nice and tall. And then we return down to the ground. Again, pull the, sh pull the bar into the shins. We're gonna grab on. We're going to straighten up. Boom, two to three inches off the ground. The bar is hanging, and stand up nice and quick. All right, so again, as I mentioned, I'm just gonna shift the camera down and we're going to uh, take a look at that movement from the bottom up. All right, so let's get that Ooh, camera set up here. Good, okay. Now, again, so we go with our conventional stance here. Feet narrow, okay. We're gonna have a seat on the box. We're gonna pull the bar into our shins here, okay. Nice and tight. We're gonna take the slack out of the bar. We're gonna straighten up, bar in the shins. Stand up nice and quick. Back down. Again, reset that position in an orthodox stance. We're going to tighten everything up, pull our lats, pull the bar into the shins. We're going to create that ideal angle. Bar comes up two to three inches. Stand and explode up. Okay. Now, the sumo variation. Again, we shift our feet out wider. We put our hands in the center of the bar. Again, nice and tall spine, all right? From here, we're pushing those knees out nice and wide, driving the heels into the ground, driving your heels through the platform. We want to pull the back into an ideal position here. Pull, bar comes up two to three inches. Boom, stand up nice and quick. Come back down, reset the position. We're going to take the slack out of the bar by engaging the lats. We're going to get that ideal pulling angle in the back. Lift the bar up off the ground two to three inches. Bam, stand up nice and fast. So we want to explode up. So we're always thinking about exploding through the hamstrings, through the glutes, driving your heels through the platform, and standing up with as much force as is possible. I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful. 
please look to incorporate the chair deadlift into the rotation of your regular exercises. It's really gonna help you develop that starting strength and explode through the platform and crush much weight. Like, comment, share the video. Please drop comments down below. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips, tactics, and techniques that will help elevate your strength game to the next level. And as always, if you like what we're doing, please, please, please support us through going to the anchorandbarbell.com, pick up some merchandise, share the love, show everybody that training is your anchor. Flash the gear, Sailor Jack's Barbell Garage. Thanks for following, thanks for supporting, thanks for commenting. Deuces up, do the damn thing, and let's get stronger together.